Right, so let's get started. So this is another question. They said, write down the domain L over G without face calculator. Means they don't want you to calculate separately L of X over G of X. So let's get into it. So given, they have given you right here, uh, L of X is one of our square root of X. And G of X equal to X minus 3 bracket square square. So this, if somebody give you D, not. If somebody give you D, L over G, you know what I'm saying? What does that mean? This meaning, this meaning, this meaning solution. If somebody give you domain of L over G, this meaning, so let me say uh, domain. So let's say, let me say uh, domain of of L in a section, domain of G, and then minus minus X a element of real number, and then you minus the denominator function, I mean the function of the denominator. So we're gonna say whereby you have to denote the minus g of x but it's g equate equal to zero so man listen man you remember about this part again so what you do is okay so whenever i have a division functions like here l over g you take the face function which is l for this case is l but if they give you p whatever whatever they're going to give to you so you take the face function top, numerator function numerator and then you say intersection and then denominator function means the function of the denominator and then you minus x you minus the function of denominator, but uh, I mean the result of okay, take the denominator function equal to zero. So get the answer here and then minus g of x uh, equal to zero. That's all. So let me give an example. It's not part of the question. Uh, for example, somebody, somebody gave it dom domain of k over d, uh, k over let's say g. So this is going to be so it's going to say okay, domain of auto k equal to numerator function in a session domain of denominator function that you minus and then you can say it's a element of real number <laughs> you know what I'm saying? so excuse me so x are element of real number whereby and then you take the denominator function which is g of x and then you equate it to zero for this case because denominator is g of x so let's get to uh to, to the answer of this question so, so, so now it's okay so how are you going to solve this so this was not part of the question but i'm trying to show you so please just ignore the part here just ignore let's solve the question now so the question say so let's solve the question so it's not part of the equation let me try to go as fast as i can the fast that I cook, so it's okay. So for that case, now we have to get domain of L. Domain of L, we know. Okay, what is our L? Okay, we just did it now. Oh, domain of L. Look, whenever we have a root and the denominator, we take whatever is in, is in the denominator. It has to be greater than zero. So we're going to say domain of L. We want to get domain of L because we cannot intersect if we don't know L and G. So domain of L. X are element of real number, and look in L. The denominator it has a root, so this root is at the denominator. So we say whatever is inside the root, but what is inside for this case just x. But if it's x minus one, whatever is in here, but what is in here for this case is x, and this it has to be greater than zero. So that's our domain for L. Excuse me. So now we go for domain of G. So what is domain of G? So domain of G. Domain of G. Okay, look, G is a real number. You know why? Because look, this and this concept, so it's like you're having x minus 3. So this is a linear function. For any linear function, any linear function, you get any numbers going right. So domain of G are all real number. You can say a real number. You can say x a real number, you can say a real number. That's the domain of G. So now we can get this part of here. You know what I'm saying? We can get the part of this. Okay, this part of here means I have to intersect these two. But when you intersect, X is greater than zero, and X is everything. So where are they gonna intersect? Look here, man. X is greater than zero, and here X is everything. So where are they gonna have something common? I mean, where are they gonna intersect? The intersection, in other words, let me say D of because I wanna get this part right. D of L intersection G. D of L intersection D of G. Excuse me. D intersection D of L intersection. D of G equal, of course, look, man, this is everything, and this is greater than zero. So, look, it's like the element of L is from greater than zero, but this is like everything. So, where are they going to have something common? Of course, they're going to have something common from X is greater than zero. That's it. So, I'm saying, so, this part here, I've already got it. So, it's okay. So, L in the second D, 
a domain of L, intersection domain of G, we say, okay, X are element of real number, but the intersection, X it has to be greater than zero. So now, we want to get this part too, we have to get this part as well. I mean, G of X. All right, so this part here is easy. Get G of X, we say G of X, because look, man, this is what we need here, right? So we need. So we have already got this one ready, which is this one here, and we're going to get this one too. So G of X, we say equal to zero. Let's plug it in. What is G of X equal to zero? So we can get it sometime. <clears throat> Excuse me, G of X equal to zero. Oh, let me do this, right? Let's just ignore that one, and then we're going to do a second part. So it's okay. So now I'm going to say D, L over G, equal to... Okay, equal to, excuse me, equal to, okay, what is it? D, domain of L, intersection domain of G. We got it, this one. So we say, this one here, X, by element of real number, whereby X is greater than zero. And then we say, minus, so let's put like a curly bracket here, so our work has to be nitty. So now we say, okay, so we have to minus X, our element of real number, G of X equal to zero. What is a G of X? We got a G of X. What is a G of X? This one here. G of X, which is given. G of X equal to X minus three square equal to zero. So we're going to have to work it out here. But look, man, that's straight away. So four, excuse me. So four, so it's okay. These and these cancel. So it's like X minus three equal to zero. So here we're going to have X minus three equal to zero. So X equal to three. So now our D L over G equal, L over G equal to, so say, okay, call it bracket, X are element of real number, element of real number, whereby this X has to be greater than zero, and then we have to subtract or minus element of X, L, X are element of real number, whereby X equal to three. So now, look, man, we're done already. So in other words, they say, the element of X, it has to be everything's more than zero, but not x equal to 3 because they say subtract look at this one man <laughs> what is that like if somebody say okay you have a 1 2 3 4 5 now all this group subtract 3 what that mean means they want to tell you everything but I take out 3 so if you come back here now it's like we have all the element greater than 0 what, what is the element greater than 0 like 1 for example 2 3 4 5 2 positive infinity but we have to subtract one, three. Means we don't need x equal to three. So I mean this three has to go. So if I have to rewrite this term here, I'm gonna say okay. If I have to rewrite in a good way, I'm gonna say okay. So I hope everybody said this part here so I can just say, so I'm gonna say okay. So if I have to rewrite, I'm gonna say okay, domain of L G X are element. So if all elements are greater than zero, but we don't need three, so I'm gonna say okay. So x has to be greater than zero but this x should not be three it means you don't need three or in other way i would say okay so if i don't want to write like that i could say okay in other way i'm going to say okay domain of l of g x are element of real number whereby this x is going to start from zero all the way to three but remember zero greater than zero means you exclude zero to three but the D3 shouldn't be included, so we exclude it. And then, and then 3 again to pass infinity. But the D3, see, it has been excluded here. It means 3 is not going to be bought, and 3 is not going to be bought. So that's how you get this answer. Done already. So let's get this answer. So this is D L over G. Look, man, if you're new to my channel, make sure you uh, subscribe and share also to the other people who uh, might be tracing. They want to learn so that you can reach the goal and have people out there who, you know, who want to, excuse me, who want to, uh, you know, get to learn your concept and the shortest method, you know, so that they can uh, they can achieve the goal. So if you have any comments, if you think this video is very helpful or it did help you, please leave a comment. So I'm saying leave a comment. Make sure you leave a comment and, you know, subscribe and share with other people. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. It's in Toronto Bundle Academy, me. So, leave the comments, share with other people. You know what I'm saying? So, because we share other people, maybe somebody's going to be there when we start. You want to get the shortest method and, you know, ways that they can get to learn and understand. So, leave the comments, subscribe, 
and share with other people. You see what I'm saying? You have a question, please ask me the questions, man. You guys you don't ask me the question. If you feel like it's helpful, see that. Hey man, this video was tut -tut 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 -tut. It's a lot of preaching, man. This is Toronto Bottle Academy. Much love you.